So what I want to do now is let's say now you have A4 paper, A4 paper, and then you want to cut it, you want to test it. Let's say now I cut it this way. Let's say I cut it this way. To make it easy, I make it like a square. So this square, okay, this they are tap, tap, and then this is a uh, one uh, 10 mm. The gauge length, the gauge length here is basically 30 mm, 30 mm. And then the thickness for this paper, normally the paper is around 0 0.1 lah. The thickness, thickness is basically 0 0.1 uh, mm, 0 0.1 mm. Okay, let's say you put into this uh, test time machine. Uh, of course, some test time machine can give you straight away. But in order to understand how to use the test time machine, let's say when you do, when you put this into test time machine, what you got is this thing. Can, you can see? The all the numbers. All the numbers, all the numbers, all the numbers until down here. Wow, you can see, you can see, you can see, you can see, right? Oi, kecil sangat. Ha, two. Okay. So, let's see first. On the top, you have time, you have force, you have stroke, stress, strain, strain. Normally, this stress, you need to understand, stress is divided by area, right? Strain also, strain is just, uh, they, they calculate. In reality, what the machine did give is only this. This, nothing. Let's say I had, I hide this, okay? This time, time also not useful. Uh, not it's not about useful or not. It's, it's not necessary lah. High. Okay. Normally the minimum the machine will give you is force and stroke. Force is how much you learn about force, right? Stroke is basically uh how how what we call how long it will uh pull uh how long the the jaw move how long the jaw move right? So if you look here, there are a lot of things. So you have negative, 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 negative here, negative, negative here. So where to start? Let's say your 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 machine is malfunction. You 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 don't you don't know how to start. So this negative, what is negative force? When you grip the paper, it become like this. Ah, susah nak pakai ni, dia ni. So this basically there are some very minimal force. Cause some point cause negative lah. That's why it's negative. So when it tarik, dia macam ni. Tarik, ah baru baru dia tegang sampai dia putus lah. So you see this is negative. This is because when uh, Wait, they are not tarik lagi lah. They tak rasa force lagi tu. So, if you look here, in order to make a graph from this, you need to make sure, you need to find the force, this one, the force, you need to find when it start 0 and above. Okay? Because, maksud 0 and above tu, bila dia rasa tarik tu, baru dia ada force. Kalau tak, kalau macam ni, kalau you tekan macam ni, the force sensor tu tak rasa apa-apa. The force sensor tu, dia rasa bila dia tegang, baru dia ada rasa force tu. So, that's why, Negative, negative ni, you, you you ignore lah. And this is stroke. Remember, when it's move, remember, when it move, like this, right? the jaw, this is like the jaw, when, susah lah ni, macam ni, kan? Macam ni, kata lah ni paper, kan? Masa dia macam ni, tak ada force sebab dia bengkok. Bengkok. Tapi masa dia tarik, still tak ada force. Sebab dia, dia tak tegang lagi. Tapi jaw ni dah bergerak dah. Jaw ni dah bergerak. So, maksudnya, stroke dia naik. 0.001, 0.33, dia naik, kan? Sebab dia still bergerak. Still bergerak ke atas. Force dia tak kira lagi. Force dia masih negatif lagi. Sebab dia tak dia tak rasa tegang lagi. Faham tak ini? Okay. So you kena cari force ni. Dia start dekat kosong. Kosong dan ke atas. So let's say cari. Uh, let's say cari. Sebenarnya panjang. Blah, 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 blah. Let's say you go. I go fast. Let's say dua. Okay. You nampak kosong kosong kan? Nampak kosong kosong kan? Kosong kosong kan? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Nampak kosong. And then naik. Naik. Dua, tiga, lapan. You nampak kan? Saya you nampak kosong, naik kosong tiga lapan, naik, 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 naik. So, let me I put it besar. You rasa senang sikit. You tengok. Nampak? Dua sikit. So, you naik. You tengok eh. Kosong, naik, naik, naik. So, you can start here. You can start here. So, let's say you want to start here. So, let's say you give here. So, let's say now, <coughs> when this is only force and displacement, the, the, the movement of the thing. But when you want to make a graph, you want what? You want what? You want stress? And also one what? Stress and strain. Okay? Stress and strain. So stress. This is in Newton. Remember, this uh, very important. This is Newton. Stress is what? Stress is Newton over area. Okay? Newton over area. Okay? So basically, you kena buat ni. You nampak kat atas ni kan? Nampak kat atas ni kan? Ni, nampak kat atas ni kan? So saya kena buat formula. Benda ni, kosong ni, saya kena bahagi dengan apa? Tadi, kita tengok tadi, uh, kalau you lupa, ini kita tengok eh, dia punya area dia, kalau you 
you potong tengah you potong tengah ni katalah dia break mana saya punya ni kalau dia potong sini you akan dapat macam ni so area dia ialah 10 mm by 0.1 mm right so that's dia punya area you darab ni 10 mm darab 0.1 mm dapatlah dia punya area cross section area lah cross section area because you cut lah you cut you cut from tepi lah you cut from tepi tu maksud dia so now uh, what you do you, this thing you darab berapa uh, 0.1 let's say thickness dia tapi ingat 0.1 ni dalam mm you kena buat dalam meter because pascal is meter squared per uh, newton meter squared whatever itulah newton meter squared uh, you refer last class eh. so this is mm you kena buat dalam meter so meter is uh, millimeter ke meter is basically uh, you kena darab darab dengan 10 to power of millimeter ke meter you kena negative 3 tau negative 3 millimeter So ni darab because dia square dia darab the length darab dengan ni darab dengan dia punya uh, dia punya apa tu dia punya dia punya lebar dia lebar dia adalah 10 10 tapi itu pun dalam millimeter so darab dengan 10 uh, kuasa negatif 3 like that kuasa negatif 3 like that okay and then you get like this lah you get like this you get like this okay so you get something like this so you get something like this But remember, normally as I said before, uh, stress ni biasa orang letak dalam mega pascal. Yang you dapat sekarang ni ialah dalam pascal tau. Dalam uh, Newton per meter square. Because this is Newton, yang biru ni Newton. Whatever bawah ni, area ni dalam meter square. Newton over meter square is pascal. Tapi normally when people do like uh, stress, they got mega pascal. Because mega is 10 to the power of 6. So you divide by 10 to the power of 6 lah. Benda-benda ni kalau you pening, nanti you tengok balik eh. You tengok balik benda ni. So, nanti saya kasih video ni. You tengok balik. So, and then at the end you get, of course, kosong balik lah. Because kosong divide by kosong, kosong lah. Tapi kalau you buat ke bawah, you dapat semua tu. So, ini dalam mega pascal. So, let's say I put here dalam mega pascal. Mega pascal. Okay. So, that is uh, in term of stress. Strain. Strain pula ialah apa? Strain, kita belajar hari tu ialah yang ni over dengan Uh, dengan L0 L0 kita apa? L0 kita adalah ni 30mm L0 sama dengan 30mm 30mm yang ni ni apa? yang ni ni ialah jarak dia jarak yang dia bergerak so jarak dia bergerak sekarang ni kalau tengok dia dah bergerak 0.4 dah kalau dia nampak graf macam ni start kat kosong dia punya force dia MPA dia tu kat kosong tapi you nak start kat kosong juga kan you nak start kat kosong juga ni strain dia kan strain dia strain dia tak ada unit Nak jadikan dia kosong senang je. You tolak je lah. So, maksudnya. Uh, yang ni ni buat macam ni. Uh, yang ni value ni. Tolak dengan 0.4. Baru dapat kosong lah. Baru dapat kosong. So, you divide ni lah. Yang original. Yang length ni. Kalau you tak buat macam ni. Apa yang akan jadi nanti. Graph you jadi macam ni. Graph you akan jadi macam ni. Dia start kat sini. 0.4 yang ni. Dia start macam tu. Faham tak? You, tak, you nak anjakkan dia ke sini tu kenapa dia tolak 0.4 ni kalau tak graf you akan jadi ni dia start jauh dia macam jadi lembek sini naik atas you nak graf you macam ni cantik start kat kosong dan kosong ha, itulah sebabnya you kena tolak yang ni lah yang, yang excessive ni excessive ni uh, tolak ni lepas tu you ingat divide by gauge length tu divide by 30, 30. tapi 30 tu you kena ingat 30 tu dalam millimeter juga 30 kita darab lah dengan apa uh, 10 to power of tak apalah yang ni tak apa sebab ni divide by 30 sebab ini pun dah 30 itu it doesn't matter because it it dimensionless because yang ni you kena ingat eh kenapa tak perlu tukar pada ni sebab you kena ingat bila you divide ni kalau ni mm you divide dengan mm dia hilang juga so tak perlu tak perlu tukar pada meter pun so sebab you akan cancel out so that's why saya buat 30 je so you tekan tak baru dapat kosong so you got bawah tarik dapat macam tu ok so dapat stress and strain so stress strain ni tak ada unit lah no unit so now kita buat graph graph benda ni so turun bawah panjang tu oh. oh, panjang tu oh. panjang sampai bawah ni let's say sampai sini sampai sini lepas tu kita pergi dekat insert uh, kita buat graph lah kita buat graph yang ni graph yang ni blak jadi macam tu mana graph ni ha, itu dia apa plex macam ni yang series 2 ni tak payah series 2 ni apa tak payah ni ha, dapat macam tu ha, more or less macam tu nampak clear kan eh, ni terbalik ni kos, uh, eh tapi ni betul lah ni sekejap 0.025 dalam MPA apa yang silap ni oh ni saya tak ni sebab ini benda ni dia kena sekaligus tau. You divide dua ni. Ni area. Kena lagi satu ni. Ha, kena lagi satu. Ha, that's why benda-benda ni pun penting ni. Ha. Nanti you tengok betul-betul lah nanti. Bila saya kasih video tu. Okay. So enter. 
So saya buat macam ni. Ah dia tukar kan? Nampak dia tukar kan? Ha. Ha dia tukar. Tengok. Dia tukar. So ini adalah dalam MPA, yang ni ni belum lagi tau. Ni dalam uh, whatever dalam uh, dia punya ni. So you kena tukarlah dia punya ni. So tukar tu tukar macam ni. Select data kot. Select data okey. Uh, yang ni ni okey. Uh, si satu okey. Ni saya nak tukar ni. Saya nak tukar nak edit apa ah. Nak edit. Saya nak guna yang ni. Yang ni. Dengan yang ni. Okey. Ah okey. So sebab ni macam pening sangat ni. So saya buat ni. Uh, format cell saya akan buat number buat cost 2 decimal je lah ok so you dapat macam tu ok this is what you get eh. so you see now you can find the modulus here so this the ultimate uh, tensile strength so this is what we call 35 so this dalam MPA so the strain is this 0.02 so tengok apa student tu buat ni student tu buat let's say sheet 4 uh, vertical lah vertical ok so here yeah. This thing. Number 2 saya rasa. Number 2. So you see 33 point whatever dekat lah tu. So you can see. Yang modulus. Kalau you kira slope tu. Dia 3.8 something lah. Uh, elongation di 1.8 kan. 1.8. Tapi ini ingat. Percentage. Maksudnya 1.8 dekat 2 lah. Yang macam you tengok sini ni. Dia 0.02. 0.02. Sebab dia tak divide. Saya tak buat dalam percentage. Kalau percentage divide lah. By darab 100. Dapatlah 2%. Macam apa yang student tu tunjuk. So basically yang ni ni modulus, ni modulus. Cara dia ialah you, you cari uh, ni lah, you cari dia punya uh, graf tu punya ni lah, trend lah. So you cari trend lane, tapi you tak boleh buat macam ni. Sebab kalau you cari trend lane macam tu, dia akan cari keseluruhan ni. So you kena cari only dekat sini saja. Sebab yang ni ni nampak pelik ni sebab dia dia take account into everything lah. So basically macam mana you buat ialah actually you can just Modulus ni ialah y2 minus y1 divided by x2 tolak x1 lah. So just cari y2, y, uh, y x2, cari sini, cari sini and then divide the, the slope lah. Senang cerita. So that's modulus and this the ultimate strain. So it's 35 like that and then this is basically uh, the strain 0.02. Okay, kalau you know percentage dapatlah 2%. Okay, so basically this how you do it uh, when you what we call uh, when The, the machine give only the minimum Newton, the force and also the movement of the jaw. Uh, you need to put in the area in order to get this stress. This come lah. So this is stress. This is strain lah. Strain. Okay. Katalah kertas ni kan. Kalau you cut, dia ada different kan. Kalau you cut macam ni. Kalau you cut macam ni. Dan you cut macam ni. Ada different tau. Kalau you test. Katalah ni A, ni B. Kalau you test. Contoh kalau you test A and B ni. Dalam tensile machine yang sama, the value dia akan lain tau. Totally lain. Sebab apa? Yang ni tadi, macam B tadi, tadi yang saya tunjuk tadi tu adalah B tau. Yang tadi tu, vertical. Vertical. Dia dapat dalam 35 kan? Tapi kalau you tengok sini, uh, kalau you tengok uh, student ni buat, kalau horizontal, dia lain tau. Horizontal dia akan dapat rendah. Uh, tensile. Dalam 16, 15, 15. Kalau ini dalam 36, 34, 33, 37, 17. Uh, ni salah ni, ni buang lah. 34, 32, 33, 36. Ni 15, 15, 16 macam tu. Dia lain. Sebab apa you rasa? Dia lain lah. Walaupun kertas yang sama. Walaupun kertas yang sama. Walaupun kertas yang sama. The reason is because bila orang buat kertas, dia tarik tau. Bila orang buat kertas, kertas tu kalau tengok kat YouTube, kita tengok kat YouTube. Orang buat kertas, dia macam ada, ada orientation. So, fiber dalam ni, dia macam ni. Fiber dalam tu, dia macam tu. Fiber dalam tu, dia macam tu. Dia, dia more less macam tu. Sebab dia tarik tau. Kertas ni, cara pembuatan dia, dia tarik. You pergi tengok YouTube lah macam mana. Uh, sebab saya tak sempat pun nak, nak tunjuk. Dia macam tarik. Dia macam gulung besar. Dia macam gulung besar macam ni. Dia ada roller. And then dia ada kertas macam ni. Ni kertas. Uh, dia kertas. Dia, dia tarik. Uh, dia tarik. Uh, dia ada lah. Uh, you tengok kat YouTube macam mana orang buat kertas. Dalam kilang-kilang kertas. Dia tarik. So bila tarik fiber tu. Yang pulpa-pulpa. Pulp tu dia akan jadi macam ni. So dia ada beza. So sekarang ni you akan ada satu kertas macam ni. Dan satu kertas yang dia macam ni. A. Ni B lah. Ni B. Uh, ni B. So that thing alone akan menyebabkan Result berbeza. Walaupun you nampak kertas ni kertas yang sama. Okay. Faham tu? Preparation tu macam ni you prepare. That's why this macam orang buat kertas. Preparation tu macam mana you prepare untuk test pun penting. Kalau you ambil di diagonal. Kalau you cut diagonal. You akan dapat result dia in between. So tengok dia punya ni. Uh, diagonal. Kalau tengok diagonal. Horizontal. Uh, ni vertical. 30 kan. Dalam 30 macam ni. Uh, horizontal. Uh, you dapat 15. Kalau diagonal in between 19 macam tu. 
So so there are there are ways tau. Kalau you buat test tak boleh test yang tu je. You kena tengok macam mana you cut tu pun penting. Sebab testing tu just testing je. Macam mana you prepare sample tu penting. Okay dah siap untuk mechanical testing. 